and welcome to another vlog. Oh, we started. We've got to. Hang on. Wait, wait for me. Wait for this. Welcome on board the Naughty Lass. This is your captain speaking. Uh, if you'd like to take your seats, please strap in because we may be going faster than three miles per hour. Uh, or at least I'll make it look like it. I'll just speed the film up. Uh, anyway, this is part two of cranking it to Lincoln with my dad. We're on the Fosdyke Canal, which many believe to be one of the earliest uh, used by the Romans in about 120 AD. Anyway, before I spout more facts that I've just taken off of Wikipedia without even questioning, I need to sort out one thing that is just wrong. A, that's disgusting. B, the showers aren't that great either. And I've seen a lot of signs like this saying, um, you know, leave the facilities after you hope to find it. And you get there in this absolute state, so I don't expect you to clean it up yourself because, well, that's not gonna happen, is it? I just think these, these signs are just, they're not needed. <laughs> Clearly not working anyway. Yeah, no, I'm not even apologizing for that. You know what I'm like with signs. And this sign is clear, four miles an hour. That's the speed limit, or does it mean four knots? Per hour? No, forget it. Anyway, this is 11 miles, no locks, straight up cranking. Enjoy. Right, here we are in Lincoln itself. Um, Dad, 
is now going to have to drive all the way back home to Dorset, so we decided to get a few sights in. The main one being the cathedral. Now, I don't really know anything about cathedrals, but I do love Game of Thrones, so it did feel like I was in some kind of film. And um, yeah, it's just such a grand building. It's amazing. Um, so even if you're not religious, um, it's truly humbling being inside. I especially like the, the chamber where all the archbishops um, would meet and also the sound of the organ playing in such a huge space. It was also good to see Dad light a candle, as many do, to remember family members that have passed away. Here at the Visitor Moorings, you get two days here and then you've got to move on. Really good, actually. The facilities are amazing. They've got a shower and they've got laundry. And it's all really, really clean. Um, I haven't tried the, the washer and dryer yet, but um, it looks good. The one problem you might find is uh, noise from students during term times and uh, yeah, because you're right next to the student accommodation. In fact, you're sort of the canal goes between both and sort of two sets of student accommodation halls and I think student houses. Um, but there's signs about saying, you know, only boaters only along this sort of stretch of the towpath so you know although it's been quite noisy with parties and stuff that I've overheard and people shouting across the, the river it's not been too bad I'm also in the shade here so there's no power for the solar panels and my batteries are really suffering at the moment actually I don't know what's wrong with them perhaps they're wearing out but uh, yeah I'm gonna head, head into the marina now Speak to the harbour, harbour master and try and get a mooring, hopefully. Let's see. Right, so we've had a little bit of a look around Lincoln. I think we're going to cover more of that on the next episode about what it's like to live here during the winter. And um, But for now, I can just tell you that I did have a word with the people from Brayford Pool and they didn't want to be involved in the videos at all. Um, they didn't want me to really mention anything to do with it. So I'm going to say, yeah, it's a very pleasant place to be. Loud with the students. Um, but all in all, it's a, it's a good place to hide out. Um, and that's why I was here. I was basically finding a place to leave my boat for a while. I was also needing a place that had power. Plus, I'm not, I'm not out to live like a hermit or, or just to scrape by. I'm trying to make living on a boat as comfortable as possible. So, and, and I find winter hard enough as it is just trying to um, arrange winter fuel and just keep things ticking over especially on my own I'm trying to, I'm trying to live a normal life on a boat and that's hard enough anyway but yeah I'm not trying to do things the cheapest way I'm not trying to be a, a hippie I'm not trying to just go off grid you know I'm just trying to live a normal life my cruising plans for this year are basically to get to Boston next see what that's like, see if I can cross the wash. They may not let me because my engine's only about 13 and a half horsepower as I've said previously and it's two cylinder Lister ST2. It's not not very powerful. So if I have to come back, then I'll just go th back through Lincoln and then back onto the Trent at Torxy Lock and then go south up the river towards Newark upon Trent and also Nottingham which I'm really looking forward to seeing. Beyond that, 
we'll have to see. Um, the Airwash Canal, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, and the rest of that area, there's loads to see around there, so um, I think I'll have to update you in the summer, as that's probably how long it's going to take me to get down there. <laughs> Right, we've got two new Crank It crew members for you this week. Number one is Dustin Dodson. Dustin, thank you so much for uh, pledging your allegiance to the Crank It crew. Welcome aboard. And then we've got Bex Isles. Uh, now Bex is a photographer and she's done a lot of stuff on Instagram. So if you want to find her on Instagram, there she is. And she's also a producer, which means she is at the top level, guys. So uh, yeah, thanks Bex. And while I'm here, I'm also going to highlight Luby Lou, who's just become a producer as well. So thanks, Lou, and hope you can get your boat sorted soon. Do you like this jumper, by the way? It's uh, a Crank It Crew crew. <laughs> it is lush, so uh, yeah, if, you, if you're on the Crank It Crew, you can buy one of these. If you're not, I'm afraid you have to settle for a regular one. But they're all on Teespring. Um, follow the link above. There are some other Cracket crew members who I will read out in the next video perhaps. Alan, John, Joe and Ben, your shout outs are on the way. I must show you some of the stuff that I've bought with my Patreon supporters help. Um, one of which is, where is it? The rig that I'm filming on right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's not bad, it kind of works, but it, you have to have a, the right kind of case. If the case is too thick, like my orange one I had, then, you know, you know, so no good otherwise. So I've got this new case from the same manufacturers as the floating orange one, and this one is basically just completely waterproof and um, a lot thinner. I like it, it fits in my pocket at least. The other thing I've got is a vacuum cleaner in the January sales. This was, this is a Dyson, it feels like a gun. Feel dusty. Will do ya, punk. But it was like 200 quid. So um, I thought, that's not bad for a Dyson. It has been great for uh, cleaning up the fire, the ash that spills out from using the coal fire, because that's always ridiculous. Um, and just generally making light work of housework, which I hate. It's tough times in winter. You've got to find a laugh somehow. Anyway, that's all this time. I'm trying to keep these vlogs short as possible just so I can get through the editing. I uh, really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and don't bother. Just um, comment if you want to. Join us again next time as we continue our little tour of Lincoln, see some pubs of the week, and also crank it on towards Boston.